first off, say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. 20, 20. Hey, man. We're reacting to... Man. Man. Exposing Kick's biggest view botters. Let's get it, bro. Hi, YT. Rank has crabs and AIDS. It's something someone absolutely delusional would say. It's no doubt that Come Kick to has Twitch. a lot of problems with their platform. I mean, mm. it's literally the home of the degenerates. Mm. Every month, there's a new issue with Bro, you. every month, there's a new child parody on Kick. I'm not going to lie. Y'all owned by, by what? Back in late November last year. And ever since then, there has been so much that has Yo. happened. Yo, all right, so first off. Streamer tell a teacher to shut the f up in a college classroom. Yo, why is he allowed to stream in a college classroom? Bro, can you no wonder. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You better get your big ass on, boy. You a bitch. I'm gonna shoot your bitch ass. I'm gonna shoot your bitch ass. Get your fat ass on. You a bitch. I ain't gonna lie, he got pressed. You can't be talking hard if you getting pressed like that. Nigga walked out the classroom. This your cousin or something? Q's head ass for bro. Yeah, no. Dis El Chapo. El Chapo. I'm El Chapo. Nigga, I'm, nigga got bitch, bro. He got he got bitch and he still was talking shit while getting pressed outside the classroom. Nigga did not stand on shit. And then this nigga snags, bro. This nigga snags. He's the pure definition of a clout demon, bro. He's the pure definition of a clout demon. I never seen nobody so hungry for clout. Nigga said, I break BRB. All right. And I'm going to Mexico next week. And you also had numerous apex predators and weird apex predators on the website. Wait, how many of them? Okay, that's Ryan. That's two. Last bro, last week I seen one got exposed. That's another one on the website. I mean, there's a whole video on this one streamer named Ryan. Forty seven. Man was basically a super villain. Yo, like I mean, like why are they not more hours? I mean, like what time is it? You know, it's already demon hours. Demon hours. I'm nineteen. Oh, I'm sixteen. You said eighteen? Yeah. Yo, chat. I'm so shocked that he 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 was doing that, bro. That nigga is a creep. I st I'm still praying on his downfall to this day. Every night, bro. What's good, big man? Think every night, every night, chat. Every night, every night. I get on my knees, bro. I pray, bro. Let me show you. 106 days, bro. For 106 days, I've been praying on this nigga downfall. 106 I mean, days, really I hate that nigga. If I'm being real. Now, what does all this tell you? Kick still has an obvious clout chasing problem. And yes, Neon. Yo, chat. Y'all heard about Neon getting arrested for a whole year? Bro, at least he didn't hide his head, though. Okay. Anyways, Neon got, Neon got uh, sentenced to a year in prison. For recording in Saudi Arabia, if you know anything about Saudi Arabian law, you cannot record in public at all. Like, like it's illegal. I, yeah, I've been praying for that, bro. I've been praying. I've been praying for that Neon got his ass rocked, like literally. I, I don't never mind. Focus on the degeneracy of Kick because your cousin so done rent. Fuck there, Neon. People talking about Kick's degeneracy, and I feel like I would just be regurgitating their information. So that's really not what I'm this praying for. That nigga to get power bomb. Nigga finna watch rent big ass Kick's forehead in prison. Oh like yes. Said, people will do anything for clout on that website. Even go to the extent of faking their viewership. Now, how does someone exactly fake viewership on Kick? Well, it's pretty simple. Basically, what someone does is they'll it's buy pay money. Never mind. Never mind. That's gonna cause like even more issues. That's gonna cause even more issues. It don't even matter. He loads up your stream with tons of bot viewers. It's they so big. Or anything. They're basically just there. As they just number. say and shit. Do this so that their stream is pushed up in the kick. Not even pushed up. Yes, they get pushed up. But also, like some people just watch streamers, especially if they're new to the platform. Some people just watch streamers because of um. Because of their numbers, and if they if niggas see a big number, they're most likely a click. Because if I have thirteen thousand people in my chat, and the other nigga has one thousand, what the fuck I'm doing right that the nigga with one thousand is doing right doing wrong, right? Right? That's how that's how I be thinking. Like, okay, if I this nigga got thirteen k, this nigga got one k. Let me watch the bigger streamer first. Damn niggas bound to be. So eventually, those fake viewers will turn into real viewers because more real mm. people will see their streams and join up. And I can't lie, it's a pretty smart strategy. That's a good strategy. Up and coming streamer on the platform. The strat makes sense, you know. There's nothing wrong. I mean, with a fake in it. I would say like. 
ten viewers. I mean, watching rent stream. I mean, I'm watching rent stream over Kai stream. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bro. What the fuck, bro? His shit's shiny. <laughs> oh my god. But nah, bro. Like for real. If you were view botting ten viewers, right? Ten viewers. Okay, I get it. It don't look too weird. Like if you're view botting ten viewers with i'll say 300 300 followers 400 followers 700 followers that's that's decent because that's the average amount but if you're view botting a thousand viewers with a thousand of a thousand followers you're doing something wrong really wrong right, wrong because there is a huge downside to view botting and that downside is that it's ruining the game for the streamers out there Facts. Who are legitimately trying to build a community facts bro i remember when one when this streamer got exposed for view botting bro ham are you still in the chat is ham still in the chat ham is not in the chat bro i remember when this one big streamer got exposed for view botting bro I felt so demotivated, bro. I, I I really felt demotivated. If I could, if I could find the voice message that I sent to him, bro, like you, you could hear it, bro. I felt so demotivated because, bro, niggas, niggas getting famous for doing shit like that. Hey guys, Rent JPG here. Did you know that eighty five percent of you guys aren't subscribed? What are you doing right now? Click that button and don't miss out on two to three videos a week. Let's get back into the video. Anyways, bro, niggas doing shit like that just makes just make the smaller streamers not want to grind it out. If if you if all you had to do is pay a hundred dollars for a thousand views, a thousand viewers. If you had to do that, it was gonna be easy. If I knew that, nigga, I would have been did it. But I would never do it. I would never view bot or organically or follow bot. Ruining the credibility of the website as well. Facts. Now, how can you exactly tell if a streamer's viewers are botted? Well, it's pretty simple. Number one, slow moving chat with extremely high viewership. If someone's okay. stream has apparently tens of thousands of people in it, but when you look at the chat, there's only like five people typing. They are obviously view botting. Like, let's be real. I'm never view botting while I start streaming. People, Facts. Five people and then. A uh, average natural channel, I'll say Kai Snap. Like when he have a hundred thousand people in his chat, he gets around five hundred messages per minute. Even more sometimes, even more sometimes, right? they're typing at their keyboards exactly number two inconsistent engagement on different uh, platforms, platforms. okay it's very personal you know facts so one -on -one connection this why bro and whoever is watching this why i love making content off streaming bro I, i'm telling you bro a reaction when i have a active chat is so much better than a reaction without an active chat because niggas are voting niggas are voicing their own opinions and they get to hear it others opinions they're like i i usually read chat every time i react bro and that shit's just better like it's better all the fucking time your stream and since streaming is so personal people are more inclined to show your you forehead different platforms because they tend to feel like they really know you that's why Facts. streamers have some of the best engagement on every platform that they're on Facts. the viewers are so loyal because they feel like they have a personal you want my opinion so if somebody has tens of thousands of go to turkey mud okay for some reason on other platforms their engagement is it's bad terrible. they're most yeah they the same and number three random spikes in viewership now let's say you're just chilling watching this i'll be having random spikes streaming. in viewership like an hour or two into the stream during that time that person might have been at like five thousand live viewers then out of nowhere within the span of like 10 seconds that person jumps from 5k to 100k with no rate at all no shout out or anything just out of nowhere that huh. person is most likely botting viewership because where did this huh. random influx of viewers just come from yeah they're the, the same sky? now those are just a few signs of somebody view botting but to really help you guys understand understand the difference of real viewership and fake viewership on kick i'm gonna show you guys some real streamers and some fake streamers he better show bruce shop him, him off is, he is a kick streamer who man i'll say this again nigga i don't care if it sounds fanned out bro if it wasn't for your rage your race tk i would never never ever started streaming i'm just saying Bro, bro, I would never ever like put my time into streaming. I would like I would never have the comp. I would never have like I would never think about streaming, bro. Stream on Twitch, and he averages about twenty k, bro. On kick, a website. Even go to the first things first. 
your rage went from was averaging 20k on uh, on Twitch, right? And he still averaged 20k on Kick. That is crazy conversion right there. That is crazy conversion. Crazy? He used to stream on Twitch, and he averages about 15k average viewers on Kick. The same amount as you feel me? Look at his chat on Twitch. On his Twitter, he has about 3950. Facts. Glurps. Also has about 700k followers. His main YouTube has 1.6 million subscribers. I remember when he first a mil, bro. The way I see it, bro. The way I seen it when I first started streaming, if Kai. Your rage, both are Haitians, right? Both Haitian, both came from like the same situation as me. And they became like big streamers, bro. And they became big streamers. I could become a big streamer too if I actually put my time, put my effort, and put my motherfucking, and put my motherfucking, um, like, and, and put, and like, focus, bro. Like, I could become a big streamer too. So, hey, we're, we're gonna keep trying followers. till we hit that. A million followers? followers? And your rage that, is your cousin. You That'd be he crazy if he was, but he probably's not. People he has in there. People are typing, people and those are pizza boxes down. What? That this man is and he's because always like the conversion rate is crazy. On anything he does on each and every platform, he uploads on YouTube. He gets a good amount of views. A hundred k for a million subscribers is good, good in my opinion. opinion. He Put those pizza boxes down. With the tweet. He Facts. People are in the streams. There Facts. See to his engagement on each platform. He is most definitely legit. Real streamer number two, Bruce Drop Em All. Now, if you don't know Bruce Drop Em All, Bruce? he is a kick streamer who used to stream on Twitch. And on his kick, he averages about 5,000 viewers per stream with a peak viewership of yes, 40,000 in the last 30 days. But that 40,000 was most likely botted by a random individual watching the stream, not Bruce himself. I don't believe so. Because oh, shit. Look at all of his other streams within the past month. Only that one stream had 40,000 people in it. And oh, no shit. significance to the stream. It was just like any of his other streams. There was no special guest or anything or special event. It was just him chilling. So I think that peak viewership is a little skewed because... It, but he averages about 5,000 average viewers per stream. He's got about 600,000 followers on Twitter. 700,000 followers on Instagram. Bruce. 1 million subs on his main YouTube channel. And 1.3 million followers on Twitch. Bro, that's the thing, bro. Bruce has always been like so fucking focused on streaming and content creation, bro. Like, like that's that's something that should really motivate people, bro. Bruce has been so fucking focused, bro. Everything that he's done is organic, bro. He he like his growth is if you go to his Twitch tracker, bro, Bruce growth has been so organic that you can't even hate. This is when they first started tracking his shit, right? Average you were 25, 25, 52, 400, 49, 62, 60, 100. Like, bro, like this nigga growth has been so organic, bro. And then he started really blowing up around 2020, 2020, like middle, mid 2020. That's when he started blowing up. He went down in viewers for a little bit. Then once DYK started in like 2022, right? In 2022, when DYK started and he was affiliated with Kai and Bruce and um Rage and shit, bro. This nigga was this nigga was at he's not bro. That shit's crazy. The reason I say that Bruce is legit is because when you tune into his streams, there's always people typing, regardless of how many people are watching. He has 5,000 viewers. That's less than your rage. But at the same time, this man's chat is always moving. And, and he got a good ass fan base. Other different platforms, it is pretty consistent, kind of like your rage. He uploads on YouTube, gets a good amount of views, posts pick on IG, gets a good amount of likes, posts Facts. Streams, and people are engaging with the tweet. He streams, people are in the streams. There's a consistency. The queen, bro, that shit was Bruce hilarious. hilarious. Was most definitely legit. Now, I wish I was there when. It was live, bro. Aiden Ross, come on. Is XQC? XQC? Bruce Backshots. He's a streamer who streams That's... on Twitch and Kick, and he's one of the top streamers. The thing is, with XQC, he's been on the top for so long, bro, you can't even give him botting allegations, bro. XQC been on the top for so long, you can't give him botting allegations, bro. Rep Backshots. That's gay. You're gay. Both of y'all are gay, bro. This nigga XQC has been averaging 100k viewers a stream for so long. 
Spotting allegations are just not it, bro. This nigga been the top streamer until Kai came in like 2023, bro. He's been the top streamer since 2019. Spotting allegations cannot be made. All right, nigga, we gay, but you slurping all day. Yeah, yeah. Or reacting. And he's got 1.5 million followers on Twitter. What? 570,000 followers on Instagram. 2.3 million subscribers on YouTube. 12 million followers on Twitch. And 700,000 followers on Wow. Twitter. And when you take a look at his Twitch stats, he's got about a 39 average with a peak viewership of 59,000 within the past 30 days. And on Kick, he's got a 28,000 viewer Same shit. With a viewership of 43,000. So his Same shit, similar. bro. When you look at his streams, you can tell that people shit are crazy. In the chat. And when you look at him, there's a consistency to his engagement. So I would say he's pretty legit. Now, those are just a few real streamers on kick who have real viewership. Now, let's look at some fake streamers. Fake like who? Streamer number one, Neon. Neon? No, really need to do bro, Neon got exposed for botting so much, bro. I'm not even. Rat, you have a pizza to deliver at seven. Oh, my God. On Neon, because I'm pretty sure we all know who he is. Now, Neon has it took me a, It took me till summer last year to go get on Twitch. What you mean how 600,000 were you on um youtube nigga thousand subs on 800 youtube channel uh-huh 285,000 kick followers but for some reason he averaged 100 k thousand average on kick with a peak viewership of a hundred i was a youtube nigga i used to be a youtube nigga too in the past 30 days now to some people that may seem completely normal you know neon is somebody that a lot of people talk about whether it's good or bad his name is always in people nah lives. it's always I bad mean, pause a lot of neon clips do go pause bro viral. now the reason why i bro bro i was thinking one day before i even start streaming i was thinking about naming myself dick jpg so they could always have dick in their mouth but nah nah that wasn't it I think that neon's viewership is fishy is because it doesn't make sense when you compare it to other big kick streamers <clears throat> and other big aiden ross streamers. like let's take kai sanat and aiden ross for example aiden of course of course they can't see ad kick streamers if you look at his other social medias, you can tell that he gets some pretty good engagement. His viewers all the time. Everything he does on numerous platforms. And Kai Sinat, on the other hand, is one of the top Twitch streamers. Popeyes is better. Look at his other social. Bro, media, I don't choose my ads. His viewers rock with them on all platforms. Facts. He gets some great engagement. But as you can Facts. see on his chart, somehow Neon averages more viewers than both of them. And Neon literally only has a fraction of what they have on all of his other socials. That is pretty fishy. I mean, you probably watched a Kai Sinat stream before. You've also probably watched an Aiden Ross stream before. But I can assure you that you've never watched a Neon stream in your entire life. Like, this viewership doesn't make sense because when you really think about it... Imagine watching Neon. Bro, the thing is... I won't say Neon content is a is bad content. It's just the things that he does, bro. Like, everybody go could go on stream and make an IRL stream, right? IRL streams aren't bad content right it's just the thing that he does in his irl streams bro that shit's annoying bro prime dante was crazy bro dante reactions used to be fire that shit was annoying bro i hate i hate the shit that he does because bro he could be a good content creator when he tries bro it's not bad content it's horrible content i watch so I watch Soul's reaction too. Bro, Soul's reaction, bro. Soul's reaction was so fucking fire. A bigger streamer than Kai Sinat and Aiden Ross on a platform that is smaller than Twitch. Kick's community is just a watered down Twitch community. Everyone who Facts. Kick was most And they're all racist. Before Kick was even a thing. Even though they're two completely different platforms, the communities are pretty similar. Now, granted, Neon streams do have some pretty eye catching guests that'll make someone want to watch, like Facts. John Oliver, Lufay, and many other celebrities but let's be real here who genuinely wants to watch a stream with neon and don tolliver no bro don tolliver ain't even bad bro those were the days bro i miss purple chat dante bro those were the days bro want to watch him thoughts on nt profit who's that drive then watch a stream with don tolliver and neon don tolliver bro i feel like if don tolliver was with aiden ross or kai sanat it would be better, but the thing, the thing wrong with Neon and celebrity guesses is that these niggas, like, no, Neon don't even try to do anything special. He just walks around, right? This is the average Neon stream, in my opinion. Chat, 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 should I, should, should, should we do a chat? Should, 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 chat, chat, should we do a chat? Should, should we do a chat?
Y'all saying yes? All right, chat, we're doing it. All right, y'all ready, chat? Chat, shall I ask some chat? Chat, what should I do, chat? Chat, 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 shall I troll? Chat, 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 shall I troll, chat? All right. Well, you're fat. And then, and then after after he says something that could get him canceled, after he says something that could get and get get him canceled, my ass is back again. After he says something that could get him canceled, an average neon apology. Um. Uh, chat. Let me apologize, chat. All right, chat. Hold on. Um. Welcome back, bro. Um, chat. So basically, I said something about Donald Trump that I should have never said, and I was not allowed to UFC 300, bro. I was not allowed to UFC 300, and now he, yeah, now I just want to say sorry. I'm never going to do it again. And the next day, he does it all again. He does it again. He does it again. He just don't learn. He just don't learn, bro. He just don't learn, bro. Thousand live viewers with only a hundred twenty thousand followers. Nah, let's be let's be for real, bro. Is pulling a hundred. Neon X a porn X a porn star X another porn star. Who the fuck gives a fuck about Sky Bree, right? Who the fuck gives a fuck about Brecky Hill? Who gives a fuck about them, bro? The only time I give a fuck about them is when I'm trying to get some. Is when I'm trying to get the lotion and bust a nut. That's the only time I give a fuck, bro. That's the only time I give a fuck about them. I'm not trying to hear them talk. I'm trying to hear them moan. Thousand live viewers with only 120,000 followers on Twitter. It just doesn't make sense. 100,000 on Twitter? What happened, Melly? He's not pulling anywhere near them. Look at... Look is a view by Why are you admitting to watching porn? Who said I admit to watching it? Demon. I'm not saying that Neon has no viewers at all because if you people he gets chat, viewers chat does move, but there's no way that I will Neon say that has more than like five thousand and ten thousand people watching his streams on a daily basis, and I think ten thousand is pushing it. Like there was actually this screenshot that was going around on Twitter, and it showed that Neon had seventy thousand viewers at the uh -huh. start of his stream. There is no way that Neon is pulling that. What's funny is that I actually caught a Neon stream for this video, and I caught this man in the he house. caught bro, bro he this caught man? this nigga before. Before he got arrested, what the fuck? Go I see no 10, problem. Viewers to 20 minutes later, having 70,000 viewers. I don't care if you say, oh, the note he went out, all that stuff. He might have posted an IG story and people might have joined up. There is no way that Neon... Neon going from 10k to 60k just off note is not real, bro. Come on now. To Neon last words free me, chat. <laughs> course of 20 minutes, that ass! I wish that's true. true. Him swimming in water. Fake streamer number two, Convy. Convy. You know who Convy is? Is. He's basically one of Aiden Ross's henchmen who used to stream on Twitch but now streams on Kick. And his streams usually consist of him either gaming, reacting to videos, or going uh -huh. outside and streaming IRL. And uh -huh. on his Twitter, he's got w followers. His Instagram has 136,000 followers. I never tuned into a Convy stream. Bro, like, like I used to see old Convy clips when he used to dick ride K Flock, though. He used to dick ride K Flock a lot. I don't know. I never tuned into the stream though. Both of his YouTube channels, 157,000 followers on Twitch. Okay. 10,000 followers on Kick. Convy got, got caught botting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Convy did get caught botting, bro. I think there was a stream recording of him going on his Gmail looking for emails, and then there was an email from Cash App saying ten thick ten dollars ten dollars ten care or something, bro. Not nah, streamer, not nah. he's a streamer, bro. Like he paid like ten dollars or ten ten k just for like ten thousand viewers or some shit like that when Drake was going live. So you think that's that's a, that's a good reason to view bot? Drake's going live and you're going live at the same time. So you need to get so you need to get some more viewers in your chat so niggas can see it. Not going live. I would say that's a good reason to um. He's okay, but low-key annoying sometimes. I would say that's a good reason to view bot. That's the only good reason to view bot, bro. 
average with the not going to lie 52,000 has John C. Findo not going to lie and when you tune huh? into his streams he actually has a pretty active chat like there are always people typing now why exactly Facts. do I think the man Convy is view botting well that's because this man has actually exposed himself for view botting on kick live on his own stream there's actually a clip going around a little bit ago of the man going through his emails on stream and you can see a purchase of 69 dollars for 1,000 subs viewers from somebody named Eli Barrett for $69. You know what? Red JPG, yo. I give this man his props because he fessed up when he was caught. Oh, shit. I got exposed, Snaggy. By who? I view bump. Rio. Rio. Damn, he's stupid. Not going to lie. Rio. Hi. Can't be doing shit like that. Hop on. How they find out? Um, my email? I mean, it is corny at the end of the day, but at least he fessed up to it. He That's fessed up. All that being said, though... I think That's that real, though. Some niggas will, like, play it off. Neons, where I definitely think that the man has viewership. I mean, he literally used to stream on Twitch, and when he was streaming on Twitch... 3K? Like 1,000 to 3,000 viewers per stream. But at okay. the same time, I do think that his numbers are skewed, because like y'all just saw, he literally exposed himself... Nigga ain't got a second stream. email? Even nah. 1,000 viewers, I can guarantee you that... That's his... probably bought it way more more than that that's for sure his youtube G gmail too only got caught with 1000 but he's probably botted up to 5000 viewers for all we know i mean the man literally bots likes on his instagram picture he bots he likes 400,000 likes but for some reason it only has 1500 comments and he also has other pictures that have hundreds of thousands of likes yet he only has 136,000 followers since when have we ever heard of somebody getting the same amount of likes as their follower count on instagram on oh numerous pictures so i don't think we'd be too too far off oh. to assume that the man also bots more than 1,000 viewers on kick. Another streamer with fake oh. viewership on kick is a streamer we all know and love, the big-headed bandit Jack Doherty. Now, for y'all that are unfamiliar with Jack Doherty, this man basically just goes around acting like a public nuisance, and he never gets checked for it, because he always has a security, security guard. guard. Ooh, shoulder. I want to so sock that nigga so bad. Bro, Jack Doherty and Neon are the two niggas I want to see get socked in the jaw. When I say in the jaw, I mean right here, square in the jaw. Right here. Oh, tight shit. Oh, like looking like a looking like that one nigga from Invincible when Ani Man went crazy on them, bro. Because nobody checks him for it. And it's honestly annoying. He also has different celebrities on stream and stuff like Antonio, Antonio Brown. Brown. That's that's, that's a nasty ass chain. Truly respect the man. But all that being said, Jack They just doing it for that promo. 7.7 thousand average viewers on kick with a peak viewership of 20,000 within the Can I come to America? He's got 900, yes. followers on Twitter, 900,000 followers on Instagram, 14 million subscribers on YouTube, and 140,000 followers on kick. And you know, I'm not going to lie, it looks normal from the outside uh-huh. You know? I mean, he has 14 million subscribers on YouTube. There's got to be 7,000 people in his streams, right? right? Right. Because when you actually sit there and watch one of this man's streams, you notice how slow the chat moves for him to be having 7,000 people in his chat all at once. Bruce Drop of Off had like 5,000 viewers, and his chat was moving with quickness. But for some this reason, this nigga probably view body. Once a person has a gun in the and a squad, it's wraps. Than molasses, that is pretty fishy. Like, if you were to watch a Twitch stream of someone with about 7,000 viewers, that shit goes fast. Be moving quickly, even if someone has less than 7,000, views like 4,000 or 3,000, their chat is still gonna be pretty hard to read and it's gonna be moving with quick. To be fair, for, for some reason, like, I'm I use Kai Snap Chat to train my eyes for the times that I have a bigger chat. That that went for the times when my chat is going faster. I tra I use Kai Snapchat to read and shit so I could train, you feel me? Training arts and shit. There's only a handful of people typing. That is pretty fishy. Now another streamer with fake viewership on kick is the streamer Heel Mike. Now, Heel Mike? Who the fuck that is? Mike, and if you don't and if you feel offended <laughs> and if you feel offended, rent then say something back. It'll take that shit. I'll take that shit to the chin. Bob's around him, <laughs> him hanging out with girls and him sometimes getting into fights on stream. And that's pretty much it. He also used to be oh, a streamer, but now he's shit. a big streamer. And when you look at his Twitch, he has seven hurting my feelings. Followers. And I'm not going to lie. These are most likely botted. And his average viewers on kick are about 10.9 K with a peak of 35 K in the last 30 days. Uh -huh. Look at his subs on YouTube. He's got 135,000 subscribers, 60,000 uh -huh. followers on Twitter. And what time is it? 
thousand followers on Instagram. Yet when you tune into one of his streams, his chat moves way too slow for him to be averaging ten thousand viewers with a peak of thirty five thousand. Like, how do you have ten thousand viewers? The but your fuck? chat is moving slower than a Call of Duty kill feed on Search and Destroy. It just doesn't make sense at all. The man's chat. Yo, that's crazy. There's six like messages per minute. Viewers. Yo, chat. In the last minute, how many messages we had? One, two, three, four. Hold on. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on. We get more messages than him. We get more messages than him. This nigga, bro, this nigga sucks. If you're going to view by, at least buy some bots for the chat too. This nigga sucks. If you're going to cheat the game, cheat the game the right way. You, you suck at cheating the game. Of chats, then this man nigga, right hold on. How many viewers we have in the chat? How many viewers we have in the chat, bro? Eight? Okay, we have eight viewers and we get more messages than him. All right. But he somehow has 7,000 viewers. 10,000? 5,000 in the past 30 days. But there's only like five to six people typing. That is pretty fishy. And what makes it even fishier is that this man even streamed on Twitch in 2024. He was averaging 500 viewers watching. Max? He hasn't streamed on Twitch in a whole year. So it does kind of make sense to why there wasn't that many people in the stream. But at the same time, I can assure you that if any streamer on Kate Yeah, only one. To their Twitch channel, even if it's been an act when Twitch, no, I said Twitch when Bruce, when Rage went back on Twitch, these niggas hit 15 20k easy for that one hour that they were live. These niggas, what for the past? No, year, they could still at least pull a fraction of what they were pulling on kick. It just doesn't make sense to how this man averages 15,000. Or, or I may, I might say, he probably don't have a strong community as the other streamers bro he probably do not have a strong community like that kick but for some reason i might say that back to twitch a website with not that many view botters he's only averaging 600 that is pretty fishy what's funny is that there was actually a point back in december where kick actually fixed their view botting <laughs> issue and this man had his ego checked live on stream because he was live on stream thousand viewers to only two thousand damn i don't know how the fuck we just went from 17k to 2.7 but i'm gonna tell you one thing if i could afford that i would have bought it a lot earlier i'm gonna be real why he sound like that bro this nigga sound hurt i don't know he sound hurt sports, but i would have bought it ages ago now don't get me wrong 2,000 viewers is still a phenomenal that's a lot of that viewers bro that's yeah but six messages per minute is crazy a huge difference from somebody who has 16 on my mo bro on my most active days we get more than that I i'm gonna tell you that on my most active days we bro my nigga demarco averaged around like three viewers per stream and he gets more messages than that per minute somebody who has 2,000 viewers and i can tell you right now when you look at the man's chat that is not a 16,000 viewer chat that is not even a 7,000 viewer chat and when you look at the man's older twitch stats you can see that the man's viewers were around 1,000 2,000 2,000 bro so it makes sense to why pressure too we active in this bitch when kick fix the view botting i mean i feel like IRL streams aren't as active you feel me because the streamer isn't sitting down in a room and talking to his um and talking to his chat I feel like Twitch, I feel like IRL streams aren't that personal to that level. The man definitely has viewers, but at the same time, a lot of those viewers are inflated, if I'm being real. Inflated? Uh, day, I think these view botters are doing more bad than good because there's no real positives to view botting. All it does is ruin the game for the legitimate streamers out there. That's but facts. That's just my two cents. Tell me your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. All that's that facts. Said, this is going to wrap up the video. If you guys made this mm, far, I appreciate mm, you. If you guys enjoyed this video, then I highly recommend you guys check out the mm, video. It's right up here on the